again in an Italian area and I found a um, small producing company, can I say that? It's yeah, yeah, uh, of course. And um, Giorgio will present me uh, three of his wines and I'm uh, very interested what I can find out about um, these wines because since uh, 20 years on this um, trade fair I never visit him and um, now we will try um, to find out uh, what he can do. So, Giorgio, thank you for your time. Thank you for your visit. So, um, can you tell me, you, you told me that you have uh, two different areas where you're producing wine. Yeah. That's a little bit, bit, little bit funny for me because uh, all Italians are most there. In Chianti, they're yeah. in Sicily, but they don't have different places. So you're in Veneto and in? And uh, in the south, in Apulia, the much more famous region at this moment. Uh, about the, 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 the wine from the south of Italy, from the, 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 yeah, from the south. So we are located in the north and in the south because uh, 15 years ago my father decided to invest uh, in the Puglia region and fortunately for us uh, he understood that uh, the future of the region Puglia, as we can see at this moment, it was and it is uh, really, really, really important. At this moment, uh, Primitivo, it's, uh, it's getting better and better. So well in which known. generation are you now producing wine? Uh, now we are on the third generation. I work, of course, with my father and uh, with my sister. And uh, the founder, Eugenio Tinazzi, uh, is my grandfather. Uh, he's uh, in retirement now, but we are in the third generation. So uh, wines uh, from your area, they sh usually should be a little bit heavy. Uh, with a lot of alcohol. From the south of Italy, of course, uh, the, the average is 14 degrees and uh, some wine arrive also on 17. But uh, we have the possibility to offer this kind of product, this kind of uh, quality and structure, because you know, this, the climate and the weather in, uh, in the south of Italy is extremely high. There's some moment uh, during the summer where uh, the temperature arrive was on 40 degrees, so it's very easy to grow a grapes with uh, an important rest of sugar and uh, extract. So then, let's start and um, okay. let's taste something. So I can do. I like. A, uh, I would that you try the primitivo celebration. This wine it's listed on. Uh, the top 100 wine in the world of Wine Spectator edition 2004. You want also? Yes, yes, of course. You see that the color is very deep. We, it's a wine with 14 and a half degrees of alcohol. It's refined eight months in barrel of oak. Argentina. It's new oak? Or? Yeah, Argentinian oak, because uh, we decided to combine the potential of the wine from, from Italy with the refining of the South America, because we like also to move uh, the, our, the our production in a different, different way. So you can taste the oak inside? Yeah. It's a toasted oak? Yeah, but you feel that also the wine is smooth. The yeah. sensation in the nose, they are smooth and a little bit oaky or smoky. The bouquet is not, uh, it's an open bouquet, but um, really soft. Mm. It's not aggressive, of course. It's a good wine. Yeah, thank you. Then, this, the other two, there are wine from the north of Italy. One, it's uh, under, it's one pure Corvina, it's 100% Corvina, you know that the Corvina is a component of the blend uh, for the Valpolicella. We decided to launch uh, three years ago the 100% Corvina, and this year with the vintage 2013, we get the gold medal of uh, Mundus Vini and for us it's uh, of course a big satisfaction, especially for the German market that uh, it starts to approach uh, also the high quality wine from Veneto. The wine, it's, uh, we obtain this quality because uh, 
we do an overmature harvest. We wait uh, a little bit more than the normal period to pick the grape. Um, definitely, we do the harvest in the middle of October. But this vine has a lot of tannins. Yeah, because uh, uh, we use a special selection of uh, barrel with Slavonian oak. It's a wine that we promote a lot in the center of Europe, in Swiss and the, in the United States. And how do you do the filtration? Because I feel it's um, um, not a typical filtration. Yeah, it's microfiltrated. But it's, it's a, a little it's bit more, more smooth than the wine yeah. before. But I think in one or two years it will be yeah, the right Yeah, of course, moment. the it's vintage 2013 is very young. Yeah. It's a wine that you need minimum between six to eight months of aging in, bo in yeah. bottle. Okay. But, uh, you know, it's uh, just now it's a good stuff. Yeah. And how much must I pay in a supermarket or in a good shop if yeah. I want to for buy? The, for the Primitivo, the average price is uh, 17 euro. For the Corvina, we are on 12 euro. For the Amaron that you must try, we go upon the 45, 50 euro. Then let's try this. So it's this is Amarone the della Amarone della Valpolicella, La Bastia. I'm glad to inform you that last week we received the score, the evaluation from uh, Robert Parker and we won uh, and we get 91 points. Mm. It's a really nice color. Yeah. And it smells in the nose like a Parker wine. Yeah, yeah. So it's... Um, um, so you know the type of the vinification for the Amaro. You must yeah. wait. Uh, you must do the harvest. In, uh, you must wait uh, to do the harvest until the middle the end of October then you bring the grapes in wooden cakes until the end of January then you press the grape and you put minimum for two here in barrel because this is the rule so the wine is very concentrated it's a wine with 15 degrees of alcohol and you can note that we use EV bottle in order to preserve the quality of our wine on the wine from Veneto, we use the engrave with the, uh, the sign of our family. But you can feel the alcohol, it's... Um, but yeah, of course, 15 degrees uh, yeah. is not less, so... Yeah, and you have a small taste of vanilla. Yeah. I think this is a good wine with a cigar. Yeah, of course, with a cigar, also with, with a barbecue. Some, uh, yeah, but also you can combine if you uh, want uh, take a moment to meditate on, on the wine and some chocolate, you know, so that's also an interesting combination. And who's your target buyer for this product? I mean, that's not, uh, I think it's not for young people, this wine. I no, think no, it's more the, um, of course, uh, this kind of product, the target the customer for this kind of product are the people between, the, the person between 35 to 45, 50 here, you know, yeah. this is the average, uh, Age of it's not a wine for a wine drinking starter. It's uh, no. for a person no, who are special. Who yeah, they to. must. They must uh, be connoisseurs. So, okay, Giorgio, thank you for your time. Thank you for your visit. Thank That's you. It. And now we will try to find um, a little bit round here in the Italian area. See you later. Mm -hmm.